How's it going everyone? David from DoD Media. Today we're going to be having a look at the Notch filter in Premiere Pro's audio effects to see how we can hopefully use it to salvage bad audio. Let's go. So the idea for this tutorial arose when I was doing a review of the Soonwell light and I was using what I'm using now for audio which is the little Rode Wireless Go. Really nice little audio receiver and transmitter but the problem is that I had quite a lot of RF interference, radio frequency interference. I don't know if I'm having it right now to be honest, I might well be, that'll be fun. But because I'm doing all of these reviews and tutorials on my own and I don't want to be one of those people that has an earpiece in while I'm talking, I couldn't hear that that radio frequency interference was happening while I was recording. Now I'm assuming the culprit is that I had my phone in my pocket and I clipped the transmitter next to that. Pretty stupid, I know, lesson learned. But nonetheless it made me think this is quite a good tool to know how to use in Premiere Pro to salvage audio and potentially just remove some annoying frequencies from your audio. So let's jump into Premiere Pro, I'll show you one of the clips from that shoot. Now you can see here there is a floor of noise already happening and you can see that it's not balanced, it's a little bit irregular, it's jerky, it's noisy. So if I play this for you, listen out for that interference noise. How's it going everyone? David from DoD Media. Today you can really hear it in the background. The next bit is a section where there's no talking so you can really just focus on that RF noise. Hey. absolutely horrible. So when I got into the timeline and heard this I thought crap what am I going to do about this? Like I'm going to add maybe a music track quite low in the background but that's not going to mask that that horrible kind of crackling hissing high-pitched digital noise. But luckily from my music production days I remembered that well everything's a frequency and you can mute out frequencies. So here's what I did. I went along to the audio track mixer if you don't have the audio track mixer there, just come up to window and find it in audio track mixer right there. Now, if you've watched my hacked Premiere Pro template tutorial, then you'll see that this is already all set up so that track one has a basic mix when I want to dump my voice on that timeline. That way I save the time setting this up every single time. Now, the thing is that I'm using four effects here. There's room for one fifth effect. So this is where we're going to add the notch. Although I'm going to want to add it at the very beginning, not at the very end, because I want it to be removed from the source before any effects affect that audio, not afterwards. So I'm just going to click and drag all of these down one slot so that it's before my EQ, before my tube compression, click remover, hard limiter, all of that stuff. Then you drop down that little menu there, come to filter and EQ, notch filter. Now if you open this up, you'll see this and you'll think, what the hell do I do with that? I'll show you. Try and find a section in the audio that you're trying to repair that doesn't have any other noise happening. So essentially it's just sampling the noises that you want to remove or at least giving you a clear picture, no, clearer sound of the noises that you want to remove, the frequencies that are in there interrupting. So to do that, I'm just going to set in on the timeline using I on the keyboard. And then round about here, I'll hit O for out. And then I'll just hit this loop playback button. If you don't see this, just come to your plus button up here and you should find it in there. Just click and drag it down and put it there on your toolbar. Now, if I play this, it's just gonna loop that section over and over. And if we look at this here, we can see where these culprit frequencies are. You can see the amplitude of those frequencies peaking, right? So this is where we will click and drag our notches and drag them down. Now we don't want it to be narrow because we don't want to affect any of the other surrounding frequencies. So we want to drop this down from narrow to super narrow. And now you see it really just cones down on that one area. And now you just click and drag it until you can find that annoying frequency. When you're done with one, move it on to the next one. Already, 
that is so much better. Let me show you with and without this notch filter. This is with, and this is without. Now you might be thinking, well, that's great, except that we've removed all those frequencies, so what's that gonna do to my voice? Luckily, my voice isn't just one frequency. It's not just 10 frequencies. My voice, my vocal cords are producing thousands of frequencies, a thousand range frequency all across the spectrum of what you can hear, not all across, but you know, I'm not a dog, but you know, pretty much all across that spectrum of what you can hear. So muting those six different frequencies is not really gonna affect your voice at all. If I click and drag this in and out section so that it includes the part where I'm talking, and just remember to turn back on loop. How's it going everyone? David from DoD Media. Today, how's it going everyone? David from DoD Media. Today, how's it going everyone? David from DoD Media. Today. Now obviously, yes, it is gonna just lose a little bit on some of that clarity, but that's where you can use your EQ then to bring that clarity back up because those frequencies that we've removed with the notch filter are happening before the EQ effect is happening, which means we've removed those frequencies with notch, then we're putting an EQ on it and boosting those highs back up so that we get that crisp clarity back in our audio. How's it going everyone? David from DoD Media. Today, how's it going everyone? David from DoD Media. Today, bet you really wanna know what today we're gonna do. And to be honest, that's it. You come along here, you add your notch filter, and if you find that you've run out of space here because you, you have you know, five effects already happening, what you can do is come down to where you've got that jack plugged in, click this down and create an adaptive submix. Now the submix is gonna create a whole new virtual channel for you. And this has a load of different slots for effects. And you can just come along and add more notch filter effects here. So you can hit play on your loop, open up this notch filter, which is this virtual notch filter, and when it shows you your frequencies, then you can add even more little notches here just to dampen those extra frequencies that are bothering you, and so on and so forth. And that way you can really guarantee that you can clean up any of those constant frequencies that are ruining your audio. I don't know why I said that so dramatically. That was, that was unnecessary. They're just ruining your audio. All your hard work, all your time spent, but for what? For what? All right, let me know if you have any questions in the comments section down below. Give this a thumbs up if you liked what you saw, if you found it helpful, and hit that subscribe button to get more videos like this, tutorials about Premiere Pro, about After Effects, about Photoshop, and about Lightroom, as well as gear reviews over there. If you've got any questions to ask me, send them to me on Twitter. It's probably the best platform for me to get back to you immediately. Uh, it's just at DOD Media on Twitter. All right, thank you very much. I'll see you next time. Cheers. I don't know why I keep doing the hand flying to the camera thing, because I know it's cheesy, I know it's overdone. It's just a habit I cannot kick. So, sorry.